Hey everybody, welcome back to Nico Brothers. We're out here in Columbia, Copar, doing a walk around and sales playing today. Limited time, auction has already started. So we're just gonna look at some good, nice builds, some quick, easy to flip, and see what's out there. So first on the list is our Nissan Altima. It's like a 2014, I believe. Technically it was what, vandalized? Vandalized, so. But it's the, a run and drive. Hopefully it should be just fine. It's kind of crazy, sometimes it gets salvaged out for the smallest thing, so let's check it out. All right, so the front end is looking pretty good. It's got a little scuff right there. No big deal. A little bit of damage right here. A little bit broken. It's kind of beat up a little bit, but let's check it out. Gonna try to start this thing. I don't know. A little stuck. What do you think, Michael? It's a little rough. I mean, it's just definitely been driven. A Very little inside. rough. It looks really rough. Yeah, it's pretty rough. Look at that. It broke that thing. No, no carpets power. are gone. I don't know. Maybe we should just move on. Yeah, I mean, it, it's just hard, you know, because that's a lot to replace. It doesn't look that bad in pictures, but in real life, it's, yeah, it's harder just, to sell. I just keep going. Let's go. Well, let's see if it's 79,000 miles. That's not bad at all. No key detected. Yeah, use the key to start it. Yeah. Step on the brakes? Yep, definitely stepping on the brakes. See if there's a spike, put it there. There it goes. I mean, started. Yeah. And maybe if it goes really cheap, but. I mean, we gotta drive something home, so. It does have a flat tire, but we'll, we can fix that. Yeah. All right, not bad. Here's a Mazda. So this one's gonna be playing today too. The rear looks pretty good. Then we got damage right there. Wow, this thing definitely took a hit. Yeah, that Try to pop the hood. The whole hood shifted over like crazy. Well, I mean, it took a hit, Michael. Yeah. But it's a Mazda, you know, they can take hits. I can't do it. You're gonna need some new hinges. <laughs> For sure. So, the biggest wow. thing is to look at this radio, uh, upper apron. Yeah, that's all bad shape. So that definitely took a hit right there. Good I mean, it's not, it's not bad. The frame rail is good. Let's see if any airbags deployed. No airbags deployed. You want to see if it starts? No battery at all. Oh, dead battery? That's fine. What do you think? Check engine light is on. I mean, it's running a little rough, but it's pretty cool. I like the whole interior. The thing pops up. It's interesting. You got a sunroof, so it's a nice package for sure. But yeah, probably vacuum lines loose. I mean, it makes sense. There's a lot going on over there, but it's not bad. Let's play it. All right, guys. So another one on the list is this Altima. It had like weird damage like all over kind of oh no it had rear do you think it's oil dripping is that from before maybe a different car hopefully a different car but look the glass is broken it's okay they taped it we're good no but look it, it was it was shot probably shot yeah see that bullet holes bullet hole right there i am good michael yeah honestly bullet holes do a lot of damage and it busts out the back glass so yeah bullet holes so this is all over i mean depends on what it goes for back glass not a big deal so check out the interior because sometimes it hits the dash you got a lot of wiring issues yeah. But why would it get shot at? An Altima, really? I mean, right yeah, here. like the dash up top, the seats. Oh boy. I mean, the seats are really like kind of worn out with a start. It looks like you got power. I don't know, what do you think, Michael? It's not bad, it's pop the hood, make sure there's no hidden damage, but whatever. It's not bad. Can you open it? So the bullet did go through. No, the head's good. Right there, one up here. Oh, wow. I don't know, Michael. It came out right here. Did the, is the cluster broken? Yeah, it, not the cluster, but you can see the right here is damaged. Oh, wow. And then went right into the seat. So hopefully nobody was sitting here. I mean, there's no blood, so 
That's good. I don't know. On to the next one. All right. So the next one we have on the list is this Pathfinder, Michael. You mm. love Pathfinders. I know, but this looks bad already for some reason. Well, know. pop the hood. Let's check it out. Because, I mean, part's actually not that bad to get, surprisingly. Oops. We fixed a couple already of these, didn't we? Yeah, yeah. So it's got a plastic radiator support. I mean, that's why it breaks so easy. Definitely need a radiator support, that plastic one. Yeah, head or headlight, grill, fender, bumper. This side's looking decent. The bumper, for some reason, is off. I don't know, actually, Michael. It's got rear end damage, it's got side damage, it's got this damage. It's kind of rough. Yeah. I don't know. I don't oh, even want to. Paint job. I wasn't excited for the beginning of it. Really? Yeah. Yeah, I'm not excited. Let's keep going. Mm -hmm. All right, guys. It continues. That Tesla took a hit. But uh, we're here to look at this Ford Escape. Because in the pictures, it looks very minor. And it looks minor to me. Looks like just a hood. The bumper looks like it's savable. Definitely needs a little cover. Headlight, not too bad. Let's check out the interior. Airbags deployed. Now that's a deal breaker. Because airbags are not fun to mess with. So, on to the next one. All right, guys, so we have a Murano here, I think. Is it Murano, Michael? Murano, Murano, yeah. But it looks like, what, just the front bumper is missing? That's what it looks around, like. Little scratches, nicks and I know, but, I mean, why do they salvage it out? That's the question. It's all-wheel drive. I think they just marked up. Yeah. You can see little scratches, so, I mean, it's not They new. went through the bushes? Maybe. Start. See if it starts. Because this actually, who knows? Can't open it. Oh man. It. Try to open the trunk. It should open now. No. I unlocked it. Try to start it. I don't know if there's any parts in there, but. It's not good. Yeah, I'll get her. All right, guys, so this is literally playing right now as we're checking out for 1950 Um We didn't start. It was about to start, so it's pretty close. What do you think we're going to probably with? 2000 $2,000? I don't know. What is it at? We're winning for 2050 Oh, okay. Pure sale. I mean, it wasn't bad, right? There's not much to it. Yeah, it looks like she needs a bumper. I kind of want to win something. We already played how many cars today? A lot. We missed a couple. A lot. It's just there's so many lanes, so many things going on at the same time, but we'll look into that to make that better so we don't miss so many. But 2,200, Ivan. I think that's already like right there because you got to think about fees, shipping it, parts. And yet I'm still bidding it. I'm saying I got to stop. And I, it's just, just so easy. To it's click. okay, Michael. We'll get another one. You sure? Our list 2, is huge. 2,300, Ivan. 2,400. No. That's it. That's it. We're Let done. It they can have it. It's right there. I know, but it's a Nissan. Bonus time, Evan. 2,400 bucks. They are winning it. They're winning it. Yeah, they can have it. They can have it? Yeah. South Carolina, they can have it. All right, 2,400 and sold. Moving on. And on to the next car, which is this Mustang. It's a 2010 GT, so it doesn't have the 5.0. It does have the little one, but this one, uh, somebody somebody vandalized this one, Michael. Dang, it's so unfortunate. I mean, I know it's a Mustang, but you guys, words are mean, you know? You see what they wrote on the side of it? Ooh, this is nice, Ivan. But it's not, a, it's, it is the GT, but it's not the 5.0 we're used to. What is it? Is it? I don't know if it's a 5.0, I think it's a 4. Something. Really? That's so weird. But uh, somebody keyed this whole thing. Oh, they keyed it pretty good. Flattened the tires. Pay me. Yeah, guys, check out the gas tank. Wow, oh. that's bad. Somebody put rice in it. Yeah, let's move on. That's uh, that's no bueno. But I mean, all this can be fixed. I mean, all this keyed, all that stuff. Nice little paint job. That'll come off. But if somebody tried to ride it and get rice in the tank. Who would do that? 
Who knows? But inside is the inside cut up. Inside's not bad. I don't know. Like, let's just let's keep going. Well, let's see what it goes for. We'll watch it, but not too excited about it. All right, guys. So we got this Ram, and uh, it's missing a tire, Michael. That's not bad. That's all it needs. Some tile. Maybe maybe a little half a grill and a door. How does that happen? Maybe well, like, body slammed, slammed it. it. This one does have airbag before. It's got power. Let's see how bad that new assembly is. Okay. Maybe they're running away from cops. Oh, control arm's okay. Oh, oh this side's even worse, Michael. Nice. Yeah, but this side's really broken. Yeah, this side just needs a tire. Is your is your wheel turned all the way? Mine's straight. Mine's turned. Like all the way. Yeah, either inner tie rod ends messed up. Yeah, this truck is all over damage. Oh, wow. That tie rod ends fine. I don't know. We'll see what it goes for, but I'm not liking it. Jeez. I thought it was going to be, you know, especially with the airbag damage. I think the rack and pinion must have ripped out or something. Because, yeah, one's straight, one's not, and they're connected still. Yeah, that's, that's not good. All right, on to the next one. Start right up. Sounds good. Seatbelt locked up? Yep, seatbelts are definitely locked up, but only airbag light on. Not even a traction control, no check engine light. I mean, technically you could drive this. I don't know. Uh, let's keep going. All right, just like that, Michael, we got a Santa Fe. Hyundai. A Hyundai. Looks clean. So, yeah, I don't remember the damage anymore on this one. We looked at so many already. But uh, so far, the front end looks good. The side looks good. The rear's not bad. The rear looks good? So what's wrong with it? Insurance. Okay. It's got airbags inside. Maybe they fixed it? Oh, the dash. The dash is right there, look. So it's got a blown dash. They fixed it. And then is that power? Out. It's got a blown airbag. And a seat belt right there. I don't know, is that power? Kind of like a weird damage. They started repairing it, but look at that motor. Wow. So nice. Wow. Your seatbelt good? Yeah. Yeah. So they disconnected, but yeah. Because there's a part of a seatbelt over there. Mm -hmm. So it looks like the gas tank or something. I don't know. So the strap for the gas tank broke. That's what's rubbing on the ground. But is that it? Do you think, what, undercarriage or? No, I think that's it. That's so weird, I wonder why. So, I don't know, we'll see what it goes for. Yeah. All right, so here's another one. And yeah, this thing looks pretty cool. It's a K5 Kia. Airbags did deploy, but it's got like a custom, nice interior red it's pretty cool looking it looks pretty cool though it's pretty cool i don't know what these are I like the headlights it's turbo spoiler it's got a little light. spoiler this is a 4t line what does that mean i don't know the dash airbag is not fun that's for sure i mean what's what's like two-day job you know one day job. day job i don't know it's kind of it's nice but it's kind of hit hard what do you think, Michael? A lot. It's a 2010 Ford Mustang with the 4.6 V8 is playing right now, rear end damage. It's kind of a vandalism. I don't know, just the rice inside the tank definitely is throwing me off. It's at $3,000 right now, Evan. What do you think? I'm good. Yeah, it's pure sale. I mean, a lot of good signs, 100,000 miles on it, but. But it's got the older V. Yeah, the 4.6. Is it? It's, that's what it is, yeah. Oh. So it's not a 5.0. It looks kind of cool. It sounds nice. That's what I've heard. The guys at Copart told us. We didn't even start it. Like I said, that rice and all the vandalism and trying to get all that spray paint off the paint. 
four thousand dollars right now i mean that's it's not bad it's not other than that it was ready to go right except for the rear end damage mm -hmm. four thousand one hundred could jump in ivan you can just click it probably win it one click bid win i'm good yeah do you really want to work on that right now i mean the mustangs are always nice but i never really got into the 4.6 is that a desirable engine is that reliable is that i don't know and be all right four thousand three hundred fifty four thousand four hundred north carolina is going at it i wonder if they know about the rice in the gas tank I mean, they can see it's vandalized, but I don't know about the rice. Yeah, because that's definitely hard to see. We have to really look into it. We can't tell nobody. It'd be kind of cool that like a community chat and you're typing right away. Like, don't play. It's my don't car. Play, don't play it. Hey, there's stuff in there. Da -da -da. Didn't they have like a chat before? I don't know. 4,700 North Carolina is winning it. Pure sale. Bonus time. Let's see if somebody's going to challenge They can them. have it. Yeah, I mean, it was cool. Maybe if I didn't see all that little stuff, but... Five thousand dollars probably sell for eight thousand. Sounds tight already. Maybe if that, if that. Four thousand seven hundred. Yep. All right. That's that. All right, guys. There we go. Our twenty nineteen Hyundai Santa Fe Limited is playing right now. We got people out of the country going at it. I looked at about an auto A stat, and their reserve is eight thousand, I think, or seven thousand eight hundred or something like that. So we're already past the reserve, I think. These are worth a lot of money. I'm seeing them go for like twenty four thousand. So I think it'd be nice. We got that airbag. The front end damage wasn't bad at all. They already started fixing it. So somebody already put a lot of work into it and then they gave up. 8,600 I'm winning. Outbid. 8,800. I think 8,900 was its reserve. Now it's pure sale. Yep, there it goes. 8,800 pure sale. Let's go. Bonus time. 8,800. Ah, come on, Georgia. Not just Georgia, like Georgia, different country. 9,000, so I just hit him. 9,000? 9,000. I still think it's definitely worth it. Get an airbag, get the thing going. Let's drive it home. $9,000, we got ourselves another vehicle. Oh yeah, got ourselves a Hyundai Santa Fe. Limited. Limited, and then what are we planning to do, Michael? Uh, airbag? I guess it's a drive it home. What do you oh, mean? Yeah, yeah, we're definitely gonna drive it home. Airbag delete for now, but the seatbelt work? Yeah, I think okay, so. Okay, you're safe, dude. Good to go. What about that noise? Did we fix that noise on the thing? Yeah, basically, I don't know if a fork forklift fit or something, a little bracket, but we got a strap down there. No big deal. So yeah, I'll follow you. You'll be fine. But uh, we got what? An hour drive home? Yeah, this thing is sweet, man. Do you need gas? I mean, uh, oh, you'll make it. No, I'm gonna need some gas. For but sure. Only thirty-eight thousand miles. Wow. Pretty sweet. She got to order an airbag. We got to scan it, see if we got to reset the module or not. Yep. Who knows if they did that? Because they replaced the dash, they replaced the seatbelts, but they gave up on the airbag. airbag. Called it quits, I guess. I mean, that's so strange. It was salvaged after front end damage, but hey, first time playing, insurance selling. Yeah. So we'll get back miles. to the shop, we'll take it apart, and we'll take you guys along with us and see if we find anything. Yeah, pretty cool. But that's an, all the time we have for this episode. So make sure you stay tuned because we are going to work on this and get it, you know, fully restored. Shouldn't take too long. And we're doing daily videos right yeah, now. Yeah, guys. So we're just posting, posting all day till Christmas and maybe next year. I don't know. We'll see. But thanks so much for watching. Catch you next time.